Welcome back to Mirror and Thread. I have something a little different planned for you today. So I'm actually going over some of my favorite Amazon kitchen gadgets. So I know usually I am ill in the fashion space, but I thought these would be fun to share with you today. And I'm trying to get back in the kitchen. Honestly, after having a baby, I have spent a lot of time with food delivery, Postmates, getting meals from other people. Cody's been doing a lot of the cooking. So I'm trying to re-inspire myself to get back into the kitchen. So some of these are new finds and some of them I've had for a little while and are things that make my life easier. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments if you have any super easy like weeknight meals recipes that you wanna share with me. I would love to hear those in the comments or Pinterest boards or anything like that that you feel like would be helpful for super simple, easy, healthy meals would be fantastic. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the kitchen gadgets. Everything I'm talking about is linked in the video description, just like normal. All right, starting off with one of my favorites. This is a pair of salad scissors. These come in really handy, specifically in the summertime. I always feel like I eat a lot more salads in the spring and summer than I do in the winter. I'm usually all about like soups and stuff in the winter, but these are so handy, you guys, because not only do they cut up like a head of lettuce if you wanna make a salad into fine little pieces, but they also will do basically every vegetable. So I have done like heads of broccoli, just like chop it into four big pieces and then use this to like chop them up. I've done baby carrots in here or big carrots in here. Um, even tomatoes, things like that, like cherry tomatoes, if you wanted to slice those, watch out for the juice, but they're really super sharp. So they'll do basically any vegetable, um, even harder vegetables. Do be cautious with the blade because they are super, super sharp, but they do have this little um, like shield on it and then it clips down. So it's got a little safety on there. So you can stick this in a drawer and I'm telling you, these are real handy to have. This is one of my newer ones, but I am already loving this. I've already used it several times. So this is an electric garlic chopper, or I have done it for chopped nuts. So I usually buy like a big thing of pecans or walnuts or whatever, and then I like to chop some and put them in my oatmeal in the mornings. So this works super well for those things. And it's also good for salsas, any kind of small thing that you need chopped. Again, these blades are very sharp, so it works really well. But the cool thing about this is it's easier to store and it's easier to use because it's wireless. So um, you just have to push the little power button on top and you're good to go. This is probably one of my most utilized ones out of the whole haul. This is an olive oil sprayer. So it's a glass bottle and then it comes with a little funnel that you can use to put the olive oil in there too. And then it's just a spray bottle. So you just get like, I usually buy like one huge economy size thing of olive oil at like Sam's or Costco or something like that. And then you just fill this up. And instead of having to buy a cooking spray, I just leave this on hand. It's nice and healthy. It's more eco-friendly and this definitely gets daily use for us. Next step is a set of food storage containers that are collapsible. I was really excited about these because we do not have any drawer space basically in our house that are those big, thick drawers that you can store like Tupperware type things in or storage containers in. So I really need to make use of the space that we do have and these will collapse down where I can actually fit them inside of a drawer and they don't have to take up a ton of my cabinet space like below the stove or anything. So very handy and these work great for if you take your lunch or you have leftovers, that kind of thing. So this is the biggest size and then this is a set of four. So they are kind of like nesting doll size. So they go down, this is the smallest one. And then they have these lids on them that will just clip on. So I'll show you what this looks like. So you have the little clip on lids. And then, like I said, they will collapse down. You can put this whole thing inside a drawer and um, they come in different color options as well. I've had this one for quite a while. If you've watched any of my Amazon lives, you've probably seen this one. If you haven't watched any of my Amazon lives, I'm gonna put the link to follow our Amazon channel down below. I do live stream videos there a couple of times a week and we've always got lots of fun gadgets and fashion things and deals and things to share with you there. So I'll put that link in the description as well. But this is a vegetable chopper. So this thing, really my favorite use for this is with onions because I hate chopping onions. It's like 
my least favorite part of cooking. I have, I don't know if I have sensitive eyes or if it's just like, it's that bad for everyone. We all just muddle through it, but I freaking hate it. So this is great because I feel like it does not make my eyes water. So I just cut them into like quarters and then it has these little blades on here. So this is for like a diced onion um, or you can do peppers, zucchini, squash, really any vegetable in here. But then you just stick like the quartered onion or whatever on there press that down and just it, this will lock in to this bottom part too so press that down and then you have a nice diced onion in the bottom that you didn't have to chop by hand you can put it in your recipe and it comes with a couple different other sizes of blades so this is more if you want um like obviously bigger chunks of vegetable if you're gonna do zucchini or sweet potato something like that i would probably use this size and i will say it takes if you want to do like a harder vegetable like a sweet potato it does take some manpower to like get this thing down but it's perfect for onions peppers zucchini some of those like softer vegetables it also comes with two different little spiralizers too so if you want to do zucchini noodles you can just stick this like the zucchini in the top of this part and then just twist it and it will go down in the case as well it also comes with little cleaning brushes and things to make sure that you're getting in all those little nooks and crannies when you clean so you might have noticed this one in the background of this video the whole time. This is just a colander, so it's great obviously for regular uses, like you would use a colander for pasta, draining meats, things like that. But we actually use this as like a drying rack of sorts, so I keep this in the sink all the time. And I do it for when we get home, I'll dump all my produce in here. So if I've got vegetables, fruits, whatever, and wash them all in here. And then I put them in different containers to sort in the fridge so that when we need it, it's all ready to go. It's just one less step that I have to worry about. But I also leave it in the sink because I've got little like baby things like breast pump things and all kinds of different things that are always needing dried like very quickly that I use daily and multiple times a day. So I just leave this here and then I'll just hand wash things, stick them here. And it's kind of like a stand in drying rack on the other side of the sink too. It's also collapsible so or expandable. So it will match the size of your sink. This is another one that you probably saw in the back of the video. So this is more of a like organization kind of thing, but I don't know, I'm including it in kitchen gadgets. But this is just a little kitchen sink caddy that I leave on the side of the kitchen sink. You can also do it in the middle. The mid For some reason, the middle of our kitchen sink is like really wide. So this works perfectly on the side of it. But it's just a spot for sponges for cleaning. I keep my brushes in there. And then it's also got a spot for a washcloth. So I usually have a washcloth on there as well for um, hand washing dishes or pre-washing dishes. And then I'll also link this little brush set because I don't know, these are just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I feel like, than some of the kitchen brushes that I see or that I used to have. So I like having these. They come in white and black and then I just leave them. One hangs on here and then the other one goes down in this slot so they're always easily accessible. Something you might not have thought about, a little dirty and clean magnet for your dishwasher. So this has been really helpful now that, well, we always have. Cody and I have always split dish duty pretty much, except that he usually does a lot more often than I do, if I'm being honest. And I usually do laundry. That's kind of our thing. That's how we work. But um, we have been like switching off since we have a lot more dishes now. So this is really handy because then you're not eating dirty dishes, which I've done in the past and it's disgusting. I <laughs> got in a fork and been like, mm, doesn't look quite right um, or you're not double washing things either so this is also really helpful when my mom was staying with us right when we had London and she was doing a lot of our housework which was amazing so we were all able to kind of communicate without having to communicate about this this is also really handy if you've got roommates that you don't aren't regularly in contact with and you're not like cooking and cleaning at the same time together this is just kind of a nice thing to have this is another kind of organization hack slash kitchen gadget. Again, I'm just kind of rolling with the things that worked for me in this video and we're, we're having a broad definition of kitchen gadget here, but this is great for these travel cups. So we love our corksicle mugs, travel mugs, and we use these every single day for our coffee because they keep it hot so long but they take up a ton of space in a cabinet and they just, they don't like coordinate at all. They're not like my other glassware or anything where they look nice sitting in a cabinet, if that matters to you. I'm kind of weird and OCD about stuff like that. 
So this little organizer is perfect for all my travel cups so that they're not taking up tons of space. And these also work really well for kids sippy cups. If you've got tons of those, I'm sure that is headed our direction sooner rather than later. But this is like a two layer one, so they will stack on top of each other or you can do them side by side if you choose. This little bottle opener was a gift from a friend when we first moved into this house. It was like a little housewarming gift. And I have loved this thing. I thought that was such a cute gift idea. Like if you're doing any kind of hostess gift or anything, this with like a bottle of wine, I think would be so cute. But this is just a, it says cheers. And then on the end, it is a bottle opener. So it looks really nice in a drawer or out if you've got a party um, or you're hosting anything like that. And it obviously functions as well. This is another new one for us. Um, we just now started needing this, but this is a little drying rack for, this is particular probably for moms and dads, although really you could use this for anything, but it's really nice for all the little bottle parts. So this is where we put all of our pump things, all of our bottles, the bottle nipples, all of the things that we need to be washing on a daily basis. And this is just a perfect drying rack for them. So it's just easier than having a whole bunch of towels laid out. So um, it's a little bit more porous than that. So they dry really quickly. And like I said, it's nice just for keeping track of these things because it has these little, I don't know, like pokey things. <laughs> That's all I can think of right now, but it will stick, kind of stick things in there. So you're not losing all those little pieces. Okay, and that's a wrap for our Amazon kitchen gadgets. I know that was a little change of pace, but I hope that was fun for you and insightful and you found some new things maybe to add to your home. Don't forget, if you wanna catch us on Amazon Live, we've got tons of other content over there similar to this, also lots of fashion things as well and some daily deals. So make sure you're following us there and we will catch you next time.